Blessings and greetings, greetings and blessings, blessed souls. We're alive because we merit to stay alive in this most existential, or modern and yet totally eternal moments. As we merit to connect to Torah Chaim, instructions of life, Torah Chesed, instructions of kindness, Torah Rachim, instructions of mercies. Psalms have been universally embraced by the entire human family experience for thousands of years. And I'm learning with a young man in my shul, the famous Frankel Shul, located here in Kessel Crown Heights. And we're learning a 176 point plan for human growth and development when one chooses to be guided by the development embedded human development in the eternal teachings of Torah as it was manifested, revealed in a prophetic sense and in the Ruach HaKodesh to one inspiration by Naim Zmerot Yisrael, the sweet singer of Israel, David. In particular, this 176-point plan of human development can be found in chapter 119, which happens to be, by the way, composed of 176 verses. We should take note that the life of King David was a life devoted to the attainment of self-perfection in the service of Creator. So, basically, King David was exemplifying for us how do we take the steps to not only serving Creator, but improving ourselves each step of the way. Because King David calculated this is the way life should be lived. Not that all of a sudden we come, become a servant of Creator. There's a step by step, day by day, month by month, year by year, decade by decade progression within the experience of a blessed human being. And I guess for those of you who are into mindfulness, mindfulness also involves growth development, even in the most existential stance of mindfulness and its implementation. King David went many lengths. and Perhaps we can even say he had to do it in a painful way because we know there's no pain without gain. And this is also a Torah axiomatic instruction that according to the Tsar is the Revach. According to the pain that we go through in our own self-awareness, there can be tremendous profiting. So, what distinguishes chapter 119 is that it is composed of 176 verses, which each letter of the 22 letters of the Hebrew, Hebrew alphabet, known as the Aleph Bet or Aleph Beis, has dedicated to it, according to the prophetic inspiration of King David, each of the 22 letters had eight verses which start with that letter. For instance, the letter Aleph, the first letter of the alphabet, the alphabet of the Hebrew language, has eight verses. Base, which is the second letter, has eight verses, and so on, until the very last letter, Tuf or Saf, has eight verses dedicated to it. So what is the significance of eight? Well, we know that the creation was created in seven days. Seven is a very powerful number. We have from an oral tradition, Kol Shvivim Chavivin, all sevens are cherished. So too, the seven days of creation are considered to be a cycle of very cherished manifestations, revelations. But the number eight, which again, for each letter of the 22 letters of the Hebrew alphabet, there are eight verses specified, designated within this Psalm 119, eight times 22 equals 176. The eight represents an even greater Awareness beyond the power of seven, which is basically the power of cycles, or ritsonos, desires. Eight means going above our own cycles, our life cycles, our weekly cycles, our daily cycles, our hourly cycles, or if you want to be on the most existential of level of perception, our mindfulness cycles. And so, from the Gomorrah, Talmud, Tracted Abrochos, there's a reference to this that this psalm is known as the repetition of eight. 
Now, there's nothing Pollyannish in this 176-step plan of human development, blessed souls. There's pain to be found in this psalm. And there's joy, with the ultimate joy culminating with King David, as we'll see, hopefully in future presentations, that his greatest joy is in the Torah. With that being said, hopefully we'll continue in a future date. This is your local cyberspace, local international Torah activist, Torah Askandan Goodman. Don Zussi Goodman, actually. That's my full name. Wishing everyone a beautiful day. May we merit to go in the plan of Creator, whether it takes us 176 points, as King David delineated, or each one has our own proverbial 176 points of ascension. May this all manifest the way of Ahava, had one love, Gorla, had one destiny, Kolana for all of us. But Darchi Nom Darchi Shalom, in a pleasant and peaceful way, La Hamshik, Blessed Shem, Spirit, to begin with the blessings of the Most High. Take everyone. Take care, everyone. Let's end off with proper pronunciation of our words.